Well, I don't know about you all, but I think it's time for a short recess. <laughs> recess? Woo! Dibs on the monkey bars! Ah, this case reminds me of the heady days of Sputnik in Yadiga Garden. That Mr. T will be one hot cookie to follow. If only I had a key witness in this case. Be right back After this word From a sponsor The people who paid for the show! Sauce Pan Now back to the show We've had our word From our sponsor From our sponsor Now back to the show the thing you were just watching. Oh, what the fool! That was quite a quick flight. Well, looks like that two-hour layover in Houston. Ah, oh, you cockeyed totalitarian! I'll have your. Wait a second. Your pimplando. Oh, I've been looking all over town for you, boy. I need your help. Hey, lay off me, Sandman. I was just anxiously engaged. Not in a good cause, let me tell you. And you don't understand. Bruce the Thumper is on trial and he's gonna get off easy unless you testify against him. Bruce is here? Huh. <laughs> I've got a fool of a bone to pick with that guy and I'm not the only one. I know a few other people who'd like to see him get his comeuppance too. The Howies! <clears throat> Recess is over. Bailiff smiles, bring everyone back inside in alphabetical lines. Uh, right away, your evilness. <laughs> Uh, Your Honor, if I may, I've called some... SURPRISE! ...witnesses at this time. First up is Pimp Lando. Ah, Shazbot. Lando, in your own words, how has Bruce wronged you in the past? Listen up, okay? Let me be frank. I thought you were Lando! SHUT UP! This thumper guy has tried to kill me, clone me, send me back in time, and has crashed more of my parties than Steve McQueen. If it was up to me, he would have to dress up like a cheetah and lick all the dirt off the ground. But you don't have to take my word for it. Bruce the Thumper went bowling in my establishment. In his street shoes. Whenever he rents videos from my video store, he always brings them back late, and they're never rewound. I'm Bruce's family dentist, and I can testify, HE NEVER FLOSSES! <laughs> he stole my puppy! He stole my baby! He stole my puppy's baby! Uh, don't you mean a puppy's puppy? So in conclusion, I really like the book Three Flaming Swords Over Manhattan, and you should read it too. Um, could we please have the stenographer remove that last testimony from the record? Records? You mean someone was supposed to be writing all this crap down? Hey boss, looks like all them block huggers really dissed on you. Well, at least they don't know that I voted for Ross Perot in 96. Ugh. Well, we gotta wrap this up fast. I gotta go take my meds. Jerry, give me your verdict, now! Your Honor, we find the defendant guilty in all charges, and quite insane for voting for parole in 96. Con, <laughs> darn it. Well, time for the sentence. Uh, ever since those bureaucrats back in wherever they are turned Alcatraz into a museum, I've only got one place to put all my sentences. So, by the end of this sentence, I'm going to sentence you to... The Phantom, the Phantom, the Phantom, the Phantom. Judge, you can't incarcerate my boss! I love him! You were warned! Ah, not again! You will-
will bow down before me, Lando. You and one day your heirs. Yeah! <laughs> what was that last party said about me? Something about me losing my hairs? I thought he said something about hogging bears. Who the who are you? Well, this whole blue's gone on long enough. It's about time I dismiss this court with my evil gavel here. <laughs> what the foo? Why do you call it the evil gavel? Cause sometimes it does this. Court is adjourned. Meanwhile, outside the Hall of Justice... <sighs> hey Lando, why the long face? Yes, you won. You kicked booty. Ha, it was better than Monte Carlo. You should be glad, lad. Well, it's nice that we won and all, but I was expecting so much more. More action, more drama, more heart-wrenching violence. Well, you know, Lando, sometimes life is like a can of turpentine that stings your eyes. Sometimes days are filled with adventures and fun. You just gotta go through the daily- Oh, you all got to help me! I was running a crazy experiment about raising the starchy intelligence, and something went wrong, and now look! The potatoes have eyes! For Frodo. Yeah!